In fact, Deepak Fertilizer is under pressure post their number. Sonal joins us to run us through the fine print. Sonal? Thank you so much for that. It's the second quarter of weakness that we are seeing in Deepak Fertilizers and Petrochemicals, uh, driven by their chemicals business largely. Even the fertilizers business has come in for some bit of pressure right now. Uh, now, remember, the revenues this time around are down just 11%, but EBITDA is where the bigger uh, decline has come, down 42%, leading to a margin contraction of 11.8%. Uh, this margin number is at a multi-quarter low for the company. Profits are also down 7 and that's why the big fall in the stock price as well. As I said, weakness is seen in both the segments for the company. Be the chemical segment, which is the higher contributor to the EBITDA, uh, that's where the EBIT has come in at 250 crore rupees versus 434 crore rupees. And if we look at the fertilizer segment, that's where the EBIT has actually halved on a YY basis. And this is because of lower subsidy rates as well that we saw in the quarter gone by. Uh, now, if we look at the EPS, the first half is understandably weaker. Uh, EPS has come in at 13.4 rupees versus 58 rupees on a YOR basis and this compares with F FY23 EPS of almost 98 rupees. Uh, so yes, if H2 is not better than H1 in a way, there could be some pressure in uh, on profitability as well. But there has been some uptick in prices in the month of October. We'll have to see whether that sustains or not. But for now, it's a weak set. All right, a weak set coming in on Deepak Fertilizers and the stock price telling you that as well, down almost 7% as we speak. Let's welcome Amrish Baliga.